Hello everyone! Welcome to my weekly Facebook Live. I am Ruth Norton with Ruth Stamping Corner. Today we are making this super adorable, really fun, really bright and happy treat box. I'm super excited about that. I just realized I didn't have an extra light on. There we go. It is a, it's been like a dark and gloomy week here in Albuquerque. Um, you know, I, I miss the sun. I feel like we've had more like gloomy rainy days lately than sunny days. I miss the sun. Anyway, welcome to my Facebook Live. We're going to get to this project in just a minute. Um, I hope you enjoy this one. It's so fun. And the colors just make me so happy. And we're going to talk all about that in just a minute. Before we get into that project, though, let me talk about things that are going on that are a little timely. I don't want you to miss out on. The January Paper Pumpkins, I believe all have shipped. Mine is on its way to me. Hopefully I get it this week sometime. And I will go live in my VIP group when my January Paper Pumpkin comes. Now, if you are interested in February's Paper Pumpkin, though, you can um, subscribe to February's Paper Pumpkin now. The February subscription period is open. This one is going to coordinate with the Rain or Shine Suite in the mini catalog. And this one is going to be gorgeous. You're going to get, well super cute I think. You're going to get nine cards, three each of three designs. There's going to be a Mango Melody ink spot. You're going to get an exclusive stamp set. But the really exciting thing about this is that this month for the first time ever are coordinating dies that you can purchase. This is an add-on you can purchase in my online store when you shop. You do have to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber to purchase this add-on. Um, but we have dies for the first time for Paper Pumpkin which is so exciting. There are, it's a set of two dies. It's only six dollars. And you can shop for that in my online store if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber and you want those coordinating dies. Um, they're super cute. Um, so fun. So subscribe to Paper Pumpkin if you want February's kit. And then once you're subscribed, you can purchase that add-on in my online store. The add-on is only available while supplies last, so make sure that you're jumping on that quick. Now, if you have a long wish list during celebration, the best deal in the catalog is for sure the starter kit. During celebration, there are three options to join Stampin' Up. Options one and two each include a mini cut and emboss machine. You can choose either the new boho blue one or the white one. Each is a $63 value. Options one and two are $129 and you get to choose $175 in your kit in addition to one of those free machines. Fantastic deal. Now, if you already have a machine, maybe you don't need a bunch of them like I do, um, Option three is for you. You can choose $175 in product and you're only going to pay $99. So it's a fantastic deal. This is a great way to stock up on those things that are on your wish list. Being a demonstrator does not mean that you have to sell. I get that asked all the time. Do I have to sell? You absolutely do not. Most demonstrators are just in it for the discount. They shop for these products all the time anyway and they want to save some money. That is the number one reason to join is to save money and that's what I would say the majority of demonstrators around the world do. They shop for themselves and they save money. You do not have to do classes. You do not have to, to sell it. You do, don't have to do any of that. But if you want a discount, if you want to see products early, if you want to get products early, um, joining is really the best thing. And um, during celebration is such a good time to join. Now don't forget all of the products in the celebration brochure are available for free when you shop my online store there are products available for fifty dollars and then there's a few products that are available at that hundred dollar level so you can earn those for free in my online store when you are shopping if you are shopping this is january's host code all orders receive a pdf with three exclusive projects if your order is over fifty dollars more you're also going to receive the make and take kit that coordinates with those projects and you're going to get a free celebration item when you're shopping during celebration all right, this is the, the bundle that we're using today. I wanted to show it to you in the mini catalog. It's on page 49. Um, this is a sweet citrus bundle. It is a hybrid bundle. So you can see down here, you're going to get the stamp set. You're going to get the embossing folder and you're going to get the dies. And we're going to use all three of those today. I'm going to show you how the hybrid folder works. Um, I know that it's a little bit intimidating to people to use it because you actually cut in the embossing folder, which is I mean, just like counterintuitive to everything that we've ever learned, but it's so amazing. And we're going to do, we're going to show you that today. So isn't this cute? This is the box we're making today. Um, when you slide this off, I'm going to show you the little treat inside. The little tabs open up and there is a box of Trident Tropical Twist gum in there. So this is a really fun gift. This is um, kind of a no sugar option, 
but it's a really really fun gift and when you package it up as gorgeously as this how can anybody not love this so this is what we're going to make today and we're actually going to start with the stamping today so let's get out i'm going to get out my stamparatus we're going to use that today because this stamp it's a bigger stamp and um it works a little bit better with the stamparatus so i'm gonna put my case under here just to to hold it nice and, and level and i'm gonna hope that that glare doesn't show up too much so this is the stamp set we're using i told you we're using that sweet citrus stamp set i'm gonna start with this one the kind of the the rinds of the citrus and we're gonna use some melon mambo we're gonna use some really fun colors for this this color combination is melon mambo polished pink granny apple green and pumpkin pie and this is such a good bright color combo i just love it um, i'm using my stamparatus because this is a much bigger stamp i want to make sure that we get some good even coverage and if we need to stamp it again a second time we can but i think that looks pretty good so i'm actually going to remove this plate i'm just going to lift it straight up and remove it and i'm going to bring in the inside piece i'm going to put this plate on of a different plate your stamparatus will actually come with two plates and you can mount them together so you can do one this way one this way but um for the video i like them all mounted always on the on the side so i'm just going to line this up as best as i can with the camera in the way i like to make sure that this one is straight across and then normally if you get that one straight across the others kind of fall into place so i'm going to get that on my stamparatus lift up that paper and hopefully that didn't shift too much i think we're okay all right i'm gonna put my melon mambo away we don't need that one and i'm gonna get out polished pink for the inside i'm gonna ink that one up this is the one that i generally have to stamp twice um just because this is a a more solid one you do have a solid one down here but this more solid one sometimes needs an extra one but i think we're okay on this one too isn't that fun isn't that beautiful and think of all the different color combinations you can make with a citrus set so fun okay i am going to put my stamp stamparatus away we don't need this but we do need to do some more stamping so let me move that out of the way um that's it for our pink so we're done with our polished pink and our melon mambo so i'm gonna get out my granny apple green and because this is a photopolymer stamp i'm gonna get out my stamp and pierce mat too I'll move this out of the way we're gonna need three leaves i didn't die cut anything in advance so we're gonna be doing all the die cutting for this project so we're gonna need three sets of leaves and i just have a scrap piece of white here that i am using and stamping those in granny apple green and that's it for granny apple green and then we have one more color we have our pumpkin pie and this little flower image is so fun i've used this flower these flowers on lots of different projects not just with this stamp set but they are great little accent flowers to add to anything so two of those and i'm gonna leave my pumpkin pie we're gonna stamp again in just a second now if you wanted to add little centers to these you could there are this little stamp here and then this little circle in here those two actually will are perfect for the centers and this little one will actually it's on they're both on one stamp and they actually line up perfectly to do both of those little flowers at the same time but we are adding some jewels to the center of our flowers so we don't need to worry about um we don't need to worry about stamping the centers okay for our greeting piece i have already die cut a stitched rectangle from the stitched rectangle dies and i'm going to stamp our greeting in pumpkin pie and i'm going to stamp it all the way on the left sending you a big squeeze so cute all right that is all the stamping we do need to do just a tiny bit of coloring on our flowers and put that away i have so saffron light and then pumpkin pie light and this is just really quick quick coloring um, i'm just going to go over those flowers with the so saffron just all six of them we we are only going to use five of these but you know i'm going to color all six because we're going to end up die cutting all six and um i'll save that extra flower for another project okay just real quick i'm just giving these a little wash of the so saffron and then i'm going to come in with my my pumpkin pie light just didn't like the centers i want to leave the tips yellow so i'm just kind of doing the centers and then just up each petal just a little bit. I probably could have done one of these in advance, but 
you know, it is what it is. We'll just have a little bit more time to talk while we die cut. I hope everybody is doing great. I hope everybody's staying healthy. All right, so back with the light, and I'm just going to just go through, and especially on these bigger ones, the smaller ones, you don't really need to do it, but I'm just going to kind of touch those tips and just kind of blend that to pumpkin pie. Um, but because we added the pumpkin pie onto the so saffron when it was still a little bit wet, it all just kind of naturally blends together. Okay, so that is, um, that's all of our stamping. So let's do some die cutting. So let's pull these out. I'm going to use my big cut and emboss machine for this because the embossing folder will only go in the big one. It won't fit in the little one, but let's do our, our die cutting first. We're going to die cut these guys first. And let me get out my dies. So this is the whole bundle. You get the, the stamp set, the embossing folder, and the dies. The dies are fantastic. I love when Stampin' Up! does this. They gave us two leaves and two of these little flower clusters. So die cutting these is actually going to be a lot quicker. I'm debating if I need to get some washi tape or not. We might be okay. Although if I do that, I don't get the washi tape. Well, <laughs> it'll ship for sure. I'm trying to save a little bit of time. The leaves there are only two leaves. Okay, I'm gonna do the washi tape because I don't trust myself. Um, so you do, we will have to run this through three or twice at least for the, the leaves as well. Okay, flowers are good. And the leaves. My husband is actually working in his, in his like work office today. He is not in the, the home today. He's working. Um, they have required them to go in once a week. So this is his week at the office, which, you know, it's good. He needs to get back out to socialize with his coworkers. <laughs> um, he hasn't really been back in the office for this much time in so long. So, but it's nice. I'm getting a lot done. It's amazing how much work you can get done when there's no distractions. Oh, all right. These are all of our flowers. Aren't they gorgeous? We have our leaves and we just need to die cut one more leaf. So I'm just going to line this up. And we're going to all these off our plate. We'll come back to these. In just a minute, let's die cut this leaf real quick. And then we're going to do the, the citruses that we stamped. All right. We have got these. All right, I'm going to put all these off to the side. Now you're going to remove your, um, you're going to remove plate number two and your cutting plates. You don't need those. But you do need number one and you're going to need number four. Okay, let me get these dies out of the way. I'm afraid I'm going to knock these onto the floor and then we're going to lose them. So let me move this stuff out of the way. All right. Now we need our embossing folder. So I'm going to grab that and we need this die. This is the, the big die that's going to go in the embossing folder. You just figure it out. Figure out how to get it in the embossing folder. The side that has that Stampin' Up! logo is the side that the die is going to go on. And I don't need to not get that glare, but the side with that, um, with that logo. And once you get that die in that embossing folder, you see, it's kind of like locked into place. It kind of fits down into those grooves and locks into place. Now to line this up, I'm just going to hold that die in place. I'm going to flip this over and let me move my machine out of the way. Cause this thing takes up so much room. Let me put this on the floor real quick. We'll come right back to it. I want to show you how I line this up. So I'm kind of holding that die in place. And then I'm just going to kind of move the paper around just until it's all, everything is lined up. Everything is nice and lined up. And I'm just going to, while holding the paper and the die, I'm just going to kind of pinch it closed with my other hand and just hold it closed. Everything is lined up. It's all ready to go. So just keep this, hold this closed. And then I'm going to grab our machine again. Here we go. And we're just going to put this in. Just making sure nothing shifts and put that plate number four on top. And we're just gonna run this through just as you would any 3D embossing folder. And this is not only going to cut our pieces, but it's also going to emboss them. And it's gonna give us so much amazing texture. So let me move all this stuff out of the way. I'm gonna take this off, you can remove that die. Look at all that deep embossing. It is just, it's so pretty. 
but these pieces are just, they're stunning. And I, I'm not sure if the video is going to pick it up, but each of those little orange segments or citrus segments, it's all embossed and it's lined up with the stamping and it's all embossed. It's all just, it's so stunning. If you have not tried our hybrid folders, I highly recommend it. They are pretty, they're pretty amazing. Now for this project, we are actually only using this one. But wait till the end because I'm going to show you what you can do with these leftover pieces. Don't get rid of these. These are these are good pieces. Save those. Okay, let's get the rest of our little die cut pieces out over here. So we have our leaves. Let's get that out of the die. We have our six flowers. This one's stuck to washi tape. There we go. So that's two and four more. So we are ready to assemble these once we get our box together. So. I'm going to save all of these little pieces. I'm just going to put them off to the side with our greeting so we don't lose them. And we are going to work on our box now. So for the box, you're going to need a piece of pumpkin pie that is eight and a half by six and a fourth. We're going to do some scoring. So grab your Simply Scored. I'll pull mine out. And on the long side, it doesn't matter which side you start with. So just pick a side and then follow the the measurements the measurements are in the video description and they are also going to be on my blog after this facebook live so on the long side you're going to score at two at two and a half at six and at six and a half rotate it to the short side the short side you're going to score at one and a half and two and let's see four and a quarter and four and three fourths so there's no funny measurements, there's no eights, there's no sixteenths, nothing, no funny measurements on there. Let me put this away. Um, just simple scoring. And go ahead and burnish on all of those score lines. And then we'll do a little bit of trimming. Okay. I love making boxes. I don't know, it's, I love making tree boxes. I have so many, so many patterns, so many templates. I always like to come up with new ones. If you ever see something in a store that you want me to, to try to make a box for, let me know. I'll try to find it on my end. Okay, so we are going to cut on the, the short side. So I'm going to go in two score lines from the left, and I'm going to cut all the way down. And then I'm going to, let's just cut both of these. I'm going to cut all the way down on this one too. And when you rotate it to the long side, you're going to cut off this one and that half inch one. And cut both of those off. And then this one, you're only going to cut off that, that long one there. So you're going to be left with a little tiny half inch tab that we are going to notch the ends on. That's what's going to really make our box. So you're going to go around and do that to all four of your corners. So go in on those long score lines. And trim that. I'm going to cut this one off nice and straight, cut this one, and then just trim those little, just notch those in. All right, now we're going to rotate our cardstock and do the same thing on this side. Just trim those up. I like this box. I've made a box similar to this before. I like this box because it has nice big flaps, and you could really... Um, go all out. You could add some DSP to these. You can decorate them even further than I did. That's totally up to you. That would be super cute. I think it really depends on who you're giving this to, but you can always add messages in there. I love the, the big flaps on this. So cut this one straight up. Okay. A couple more cuts and then we are done trimming. Now you are left with some some bigger pieces like this one. This would be good to like die cut little hearts from or stars. So if you are a scrap saver, you do have some bigger pieces that you might want to save. That's your call. All right, I'm gonna move all my trash out of the way. Let me move that off to the side. And this is what you are left with. So we've cut out those big corners, and you have four little half inch tabs here. And before we assemble it, I'm just going to grab a corner rounder and I'm going to round all of these corners. We don't currently sell a corner rounder punch, but you probably have one in your stash. So just use whichever one is your favorite. 
If you don't have one, you can check Amazon or other craft stores with like a, those big box craft stores. They have corner rounder punches as well. And corner rounder punches are a good staple to have. All right, so this is our, this is our little box. All right. I'm not a scrap saver. I really am not. Um, so I was asked in the comments if I was a scrap saver. And you know what? I used to. I used to save every tiny little scrap. But, um, you know, when I, with as much crafting as I do. Okay, my stamp and Seal Plus doesn't want to work today. We're going to use our, our liquid glue. So it's going to take a couple more minutes to dry, but it'll, it'll be better in the end. Um, but my scraps, I used to save every teeny tiny little scrap, but it gets a little overwhelming with as much crafting as I do. And so there's just no way I do save, I save a fair amount of them, but they really have to be big enough for me to, to really make it worthwhile. Um, I tend to save smaller white scraps more than colored cardstock, but white scraps, I mean, you can always die cut a little label or something. Okay, so I'm just gl gluing all those little corners in so the score line there is going to line up with that cut line. That tr box trimming right there. And liquid glue is going to just take a little bit longer to dry, but it'll be okay. Just line up those little corners. It'll be fine. Normally my liquid glue dries like instantly. But today, because it's a video, it's not going to. All right, so this is your, your box. I'm gonna fold these back just a little bit like that. Get, get in there. Normally I would use like clothespins to hold it down too. That's a good good way to do it. But there is your little box. Isn't that cute? You can even put little um, candies in here. I'm not other sure, sure what other little candies would fit in here, but our little Trident gum box fits perfectly in there. We buy them in three packs. My kids like this flavor a lot. So we buy them in three packs at our local Walmart. And so we usually always have these on hand. But the box just folds in like that. And you can really fold it in either way. You can fold in the long sides first, however you want to fold it. I like the short sides first and then just overlapping it like that. But you can see how you can add even more decorations to this side. All right, let's work on our DSP and then we're going to decorate this thing up. So move this one back in. The DSP is from the Dandy Designs pack. That is a celebration pack. If you missed my celebration Sunday um, just a few days ago, we focused on this DSP. You can find that in my VIP group or it's on my YouTube channel. You can find it there as well. Um, but this is a fantastic pack of DSP. And this piece is two by six. So you're gonna maximize your, your use of that in that DSP pack. And I'm just gonna start it in the middle and just kind of fold it and score it all the way around. Just kind of using my fingertips just to burnish it a little bit. And this one, let's see if our stamp and seal wants to work this time. Here we go. Just didn't wanna work on those little tabs. And I'm just going to adhere that in the front. Make sure that it's not too tight. You want it to be able to slide on and off so that your recipient can get it. And I put that seam right in the front because we're going to completely cover that. And that gives you a beautiful finish in the back. You don't have that seam at all showing. Okay, let's work on everything. We're going to start from the bottom up. So I'm going to start with my greeting piece. And I'm going to use dimensionals. I'm going to put the dimensionals right over that seam and I'm only putting the dimensionals on the the belly band part. I don't want to put it on this part <clears throat> because um, I don't want to go too far and accidentally glue this closed. So this stitched rectangle from that stitch rectangles die, I think it is, it's the third smallest in this little grouping down here. Um, I don't know what size that is. It is, I can give you a quick measurement. It is about one and a quarter by three and a quarter. So if you don't have the, that stitch rectangle, you can just cut a piece that's about that big. And I'm just going to set that on, just kind of center it perfectly onto our box here. Move this all over and we're gonna bring in our pieces. Let's start with our, our little citrus piece and then we'll work on our leaves. So I'm gonna add some dimensionals on here, again on the tag because I don't want, I don't want to accidentally glue anything to my box. We're just gonna stick that on the side. Isn't that cute already? All right, liquid glue. We're gonna add some leaves. I'm gonna put some on the back of one of them. I really need a new bottle of glue. And this one I'm gonna glue, to, I'm gonna tuck here and I'm gonna adhere it onto the belly band. Just tuck it right under that greeting, right onto the belly band. And these, a little bit on the back, I'm gonna tuck under the fruit here. 
go. One there. And this one I'm going to put right on the top because I think my dimensionals are going to get in the way. So I'm just going to go right under here and just adhere it to the bottom of that of that tag. So there's our leaves. So fun. You can use glue dots too <clears throat> if you don't want to use liquid glue. All right. I am going to work on my flowers now. I'm going to grab my stamp and pierce mat and I'm going to pull out my flowers. We're only going to use one of those big ones. So save that other big one and then pull out all of those little ones. And I want to give these flowers a little bit of extra dimension. So I'm going to use my take your pick tool with the lid on that putty part and I'm just going to give them a little press and that's going to kind of cup them up and it's going to give them a little bit of extra dimension. Okay, so let's get these adhered on. I'm going to put one, I'm adhering it onto that leaf there. This is the big one and let's see, I'm just going to kind of stick that in like that. You can put these wherever you want really. A little one here. Glue dots would be great for this too because they would be an instant stick. Just make sure when you're adhering these on, you do not put any adhesive past that belly band. You want to make sure everything gets stuck on that belly band. A couple more here. And just one there and one there. Isn't that beautiful? So beautiful already, but we're going to finish it with some jewels. So these are the um, iridescent pastel gems. These are new in the mini catalog they are pretty gorgeous you have like this calypso coral balmy blue and then this iridescent one maybe this is like petal pink i'm not sure what they're what colors they're calling that but it is pretty gorgeous but we're going to use this calypso coral one i thought this coordinated really well with our pumpkin pie and it picks up some of those pinks so i'm going to put a big one in the middle and then on all these little ones we're going to put a little one and this is so stunning this adds so much sparkle and shine these gems are so pretty, but they're a little bit bigger. They're a little bulky. I'm not sure I would use them on a card, but I love them for a 3D project like this. <clears throat> so that finishes up our little gum box. I'll put my taker pick tool away. Isn't that so cute? I'm going to leave this one to dry for just a second. But isn't that so, so cute? The belly band will slide off and you have your, your little pack of Trident on the inside so cute it's so fun and the colors are just they make me so happy they're so great for for cold gloomy snowy day <laughs> so i wanted to show you guys i wanted to tell you guys remember don't get rid of your little your extra pieces so i want to show you what i did with that so i took the same supplies that i used to make this box and i made a coordinating card that coordinates ex with the box as well so i only i stamped a few extra flowers I stamped a few extra leaves and I used those leftover pieces from that box. I used the same DSP, a pumpkin pie card base, and a greeting from that sweet citrus stamp. So I made a little coordinating card. So now you have, you have a little card, you have a little box. Fantastic project that you can um, give to anybody. This card was simple enough too that I think you can make a stack of these and make them as gifts. Now the only thing different that I did on this one was instead of using those, those pastel iridescent gems because I told you they were a little bit too big. Um, I pulled out these. These are new in the mini catalog as well. These are the opaque adhesive back gems. And I just used these white ones, which worked well. And if you want these colored, they're white. You can use your Stampin' Blends and color them any color you want. So I just added those. They're a little bit smaller to the center of my flowers instead of those other gems. But otherwise, all the same supplies. You already have them all out. You might as well make up a few more projects as well. All right, guys. That's it for me for today. I hope you guys love this project i think it is so super cute um let me know what you think um i'll be live again in my vip group on sunday for sure with celebration sunday and when my paper pumpkin arrives i will also be live there too all right guys that's it for me if you are on facebook please share this with your crafty friends i would love to reach out to them as well if you're on youtube please like and subscribe to my channel that really helps my business grow and it helps me continue to bring you a wonderful videos like this one with wonderful projects i don't know how how fun I am to listen to, but I hope you enjoy me. Um, all right, guys, that's it for me. If you are shopping, please head to my online store. Use that host code for all the extra benefits you get during celebration and for some surprises from me as well. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will see you guys on Sunday for Celebration Sunday in my VIP group. Have a great week. Bye.